So two things are happening simultaneously. You've got transformative shifts happening in education, in research, in universities. On the other hand, you've got transformative shifts happening in libraries and in information. So put those two things together, those two transformative shifts, and you've got a perfect storm. We have, you know, two millennia or more of looking after physical formats of information and to that is now being added digital information and the management of that knowledge, its preservation, storage, making it accessible, um, as well as continuing to look after analogue formats is uh, adding to the range of challenges that libraries face. And there was some scepticism about whether libraries would even make the cut into the future. On the contrary, of all the institutional types, libraries are probably the most future-facing and future-proofed because it's our job to think about how you navigate your way 50, 100 years ahead. Well, I think the biggest challenge is, is fear. I think once we're fully embracing the fact that the digital world is with us, even though we continue to have these um, physical artifacts that we must take good care of for cultural reasons, uh, we need to innovate constantly. We need to get started building the future and realize that the, the future is here and it's now. And we need to take advantage of the, of the possibilities that present themselves to us. So I think the opportunities for libraries to, to really fulfill their potential as, uh, as spaces that catalyze forms of knowledge production, uh, certain kinds of community activities, uh, to promote the social circulation of knowledge. All of those activation functions seem to me at least as important as uh, storage and access uh, challenges. The big prediction is what's been happening for the last 20 years. That is the spectrum of types of libraries and how they interact with uh, their readers, wherever their readers happen to be, is expanding. So those uh, libraries that are innovative and exploiting digital technologies and network-based services and functions are in a much different place than those who are serving local populations. It's simply a widening variety of types. All of the statistics demonstrate that library usage has been increasing throughout the world as we've moved into the digital uh, millennium. And uh, I think those statistics uh, underscore the importance of libraries as platforms for uh, knowledge sharing and access. And I see no reason uh, to believe anything but that that role will increase over time rather than decrease. If I pull out one overarching theme of all four of our speakers, it's, it's not either or, but both. It's not either the heritage and looking after our phenomenal collections or the digital future, it's both and the interaction between both. And that was really what today was about.